Well, we've made our way to the end of Phase 4 of the MCU. And to be fair, there is a lot of well-earned criticism. Now we're hearing reports that inside Marvel Studios, they're ready to make some major changes. And this could impact the MCU in a drastic way. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about the report, what's going on, and what it could mean for the MCU. Well, it appears that the return of Bob Iger as Disney CEO is leading to some major changes for several companies under the Disney umbrella. And a lot of this was detailed recently in Deadline. Now, there's been a lot of speculation about what this could mean for two specific studios, Marvel and Lucasfilm, especially considering that the output from both studios was pretty darn good under Bob Iger, but has shifted a little bit under Bob Chapek. Now, many people feel like Marvel Studios has shifted gears from quality being front and center to quantity, filling up the slate on Disney Plus and the theaters. And now it appears there could be some major changes for Marvel Studios on the horizon. Now, this comes from the Cosmic Circus. And like we always say, if it's not from Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige or Bob Iger, it's not official. But this does make a lot of sense and this is being confirmed in multiple places, so I believe it might likely be real. Over the course of the Infinity Saga, Marvel released 23 movies, and pretty much they were all universally received positively and pretty big hits at the box office. We had a couple of slips, but almost the entirety did pretty well with fans. In comparison, Phase 4 has seen a total of 19 projects, which include movies, TV shows, and special presentations. And to be fair, there have been some hit and miss titles like Thor Love and Thunder or films that underwhelmed critics and did not do well at the box office like The Eternals. This really isn't a big surprise when you consider the level of saturation and the high level of success Marvel had in phases 1 through 3. It's really often very hard to follow up on big success and that appears to be exactly what's going on. Combine that with issues surrounding the pandemic as well as some really big visual effects stuff going on, you can see why many fans are a bit disappointed. Now, what the Cosmic Circus is saying is that Marvel Studios is now, and I quote, re-evaluating the release lineup for Phase 5 and Phase 6, and that they are aware that Phase 4 has a perceived dip in quality. Now, it seems like Disney is super worried that the next couple of phases could get very messy, and there's clearly a renewed interest in getting back to a quality over quantity approach to storytelling for Marvel Studios. Now, this could mean some sort of creative oversight for the MCU moving forward, but it sounds like some of these shifts have already happened with more special presentations instead of TV shows. These would often be quicker and cheaper and a way less demanding way to introduce new heroes to set the stage for big stories going forward. Now, they do make it pretty clear, projects that are currently in pre-production could be at risk, with their sources adding, and I quote, expect shifts in schedules for some projects, changes in media formats for others, and in the most extreme and unlikely of cases, a postponement or outright cancellation of a project that would not be suited towards the overall story of the multiverse saga. This means some of that massive slate that Kevin Feige initially put out there, well, those films that don't fit into the multiverse saga or television shows that don't fit into the multiverse saga could see a bit of a move. This could come in the form of projects like Blade or even Daredevil getting shifted around since that's a whole different story thread. Now, I don't think we should panic yet, especially based on the response of the initial two special presentations from Marvel Studios. They both did really well on the streaming service, the response has almost been universally positive, and it does appear to me Marvel has already started to adjust to this, so that's probably what we should look to moving forward. I actually think this means some of the shows that we've been hearing coming down the pipe, maybe like Echo, could be converted into a special presentation or even a movie for Disney+. Plus. This would give Marvel much shorter production time, more control, and reduce the level of saturation that appears to be hurting the demand for their product overall. This would also allow them to focus the talent they need on the projects they need to score. When you think about it, making media can be compared to professional sports. If you have 10 teams, the level of talent on each team is at a certain level. But if you expand that league to 20 teams, all of a sudden, the talent levels start to fall off because there's simply not an availability of project people with that level of talent to complete the game. Now, we're going to follow Marvel Studios pretty closely. I think this story will be developing over a period of time, but I think fans should probably relax a little bit, let Kevin Feige start working with Bob Iger again, that was a good relationship, and see what Marvel Studios decides to do. It's still a juggernaut. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is doing very well at the box office. Doctor Strange almost broke a billion dollars, and even as bad as Thor Love and Thunder really was, the movie was in the 700 millions, a clear success. 
I do think Marvel Studios will right the ship, but we're going to have to wait and see how all this pans out. Obviously, we're covering everything Marvel Studios moving forward, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the news. But until we know more, what do you guys think? How do you feel about Marvel Studios returning to a quality over quantity approach for their projects moving forward? And what projects do you think will be revamped by Marvel Studios? Quite honestly, I think Armor Wars might be in big trouble. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.